Central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. It's coming, and you need to beware of these four stages of CBDC adoption. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's amazing to see how many people watch my videos who aren't subscribers. I'd really appreciate if you would do that. This is a longer video than my normal ones, but it is critically important that you hear this. And in fact, it's also really important that you share this video with as many people as you can. We've got to get the word out. We have to educate people about central bank digital currencies and the reset that's coming with our dollar. And we saw in Canada the actions of a rogue government freezing bank assets, limiting transactions, stripping away privacy. It was called an emergency act, and it was employed by the Canadian government to crack down on people it disapproved of. And the ripple effects were really noticeable. So-called uh, banking issues kept cropping up during the height of the craziness. Uh, this person reported getting the third degree when trying to withdraw funds. In back in uh, February, I tried to withdraw $20,000 in cash from my bank today. They would only give me half due to their reserves being very low. They were out of $100 bills. Remember that, $100 bills. We'll come back to that. Uh, they gave me 50s instead. They said the next cash shipment to them was on the 23rd. Later in the day, they called me and said the next cash shipment wouldn't be until March 2nd. I bank at RBC, the biggest bank in Canada. My boss ran into the same thing at TD, another big Canadian bank. Do you think this type of authoritarian control could you know, come here to the United States? Yeah, you should, okay? It can, and it, and it will. Okay, we are on the brink of a new monetary system. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to, there's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it. A draconian monetary system. And while you may not like it, and uh, you shouldn't, there's practically nothing you can do about it. I was recently asked that question when I was at Tim's, and I uh, was meeting a bunch of Yankee subscribers. They said, you know, Yankee, you know, I'm really scared about CBDCs. What can we do? And I told them, you know, what could you do when they close stores during the pandemic? Nothing, really. And the same goes for the new monetary system. But, you know, here's a twist, okay? When the new system is in place, uh, that Canadian scenario I read to you, you know, the restriction of cash, the delay in cash shipments, that will all be moot. It's not going to be a thing anymore because there won't be any cash to withdraw out of your retail bank. And eventually, there's not even going to be a retail bank you can go to. You know, I read and digested the recent digital currency project between the Boston Federal Reserve and MIT. It was codenamed Project Hamilton. They called their project a theoretical, high-performance, and resilient transaction processor for a CBDC. Let me translate that for you. It's a super-fast infrastructure to run a central bank controlled digital currency. They claimed it could handle 1.7 million transactions per second. And that is super fast. I mean, Bitcoin processes like, I think it, the last I read was seven transactions per second. Uh, Visa processes over 1,700 transactions per second on average. So 1.7 million, that's crazy high. Uh, they, they built a system that can handle a massive number of transactions in real time at scale. So the infrastructure is ready. But you might say, well, what's the big deal? I mean, the world currency is already 96% digital, Yankee. But it is a big deal. And I'm going to explain not only why it is, but the four steps or phases to a digital disaster that is central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. I'm also gonna tell you when I believe it's gonna start. Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. 
This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box at the Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. And by the way, when it hits, it's not going to be called CBDCs or even FedCoin officially. It's going to have some, you know, nice sounding, ooh, that's so cool name. All right. As you know, China is going all in on CBDCs. Russia too. The Biden administration threw their weight behind it as well. So people who love this stuff point to the possibility of a self-custody wallet. They say that all the basic operations like minting the new currency, transferring the funds around would rely on a super safe public and private key pair. You would have the private key on your cell phone and everybody else would just see the public key. They say the system is more private than even Bitcoin because it preserves this self-custody wallet option. Yeah, frankly, I don't buy it. Maybe it will start out that way, right, to get acceptance. But frankly, I think this whole self-custody wallet idea is not going to survive in later versions of FedCoin or whatever they call it. I'm telling you right now, the government wants power and control. Privacy is not going to cut it. They're going to argue that they need to enforce uh, you know, money flow limits, uh, protect us against that terrorism that's out there, or money laundering, or whatever. Privacy will be sacrificed on the altar of government power. It always is. Central bank digital currency. Digital currency, for those that don't know, it are not, it's not a cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. It's, it could be put on the blockchain, but not even necessarily there. So, Robert, in the summation on that question, yes, the banks aren't going to give up their power. They want a new monetary system. They want a cast of society, and they want control. Exactly what they wanted was modern money theory, unbacked, track and trace, digital currency produced by the banking elite. CBDCs mark the ability to fully adopt modern monetary theory, MMT. That is the unfettered and limitless spending to infinity and beyond by the government. Uh, What I do see is them mandating that you can only get a mortgage if you use uh, central bank digital currency. Mm -hmm. You can only get a utility hookup if you use a central bank digital currency. You can only rent a car. So you can see where this is going, and I'm pretty certain I'm right. CBDCs will be unbacked by anything tangible or with intrinsic value. It won't be sound money, like gold and silver. It can't be in order to sustain government spending. But it will give our central bank the ability to minutely control the money supply, all without bond purchases and banks. With it will come the ability to track, trace, limit, encourage, punish, and control your income and spending. Central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, They are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the, uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they want to go. It is a pretty terrifying concept if you keep in mind that the government will be able to know every single time you transact, every dollar, every cent, every time somebody pays you, every time you pay somebody. CBDCs mark the ability to enable the Green New Deal initiatives that they want to get through. They're going to require and enforce restrictions with this tool and punish people with things like a carbon penalty. You know, you've been buying too much gasoline, Yankee. That's going to cost you. Bang. CBDCs mark the end of a virus-prone, filthy lucre. All right. The end of ATMs and their stock paper currency. That's it. Done. Gone. No more, more, no more of that. CBDCs mark the end of tax withholding. Okay. Under the guise of once and for all stopping those tax cheats, the IRS will know exactly what you get for income and will be able to take exactly what they say you owe instantly. Shoot, there's not even going to be a need for an IRS once this fully gets implemented, or at least an an IRS functioning in the way it does today. I mean, we never fully dismantle a government agency, right? Let's get to the four steps here because this all doesn't happen at once. It's gradual. 
Just like, you know, the whole analogy about the frog in the, in, in the hot water. You just turn it up slowly. So I think it's going to happen in four phases. I think the first phase or step is probably going to begin in 2023. But we'll see. It might take longer. I don't think they can do it in time this year. I think next year is the, is the year. Stage one. CBDCs will be seen as a, a novelty. Okay, that's the key word, a novelty. Hey, I just bought a Red Bull with FedCoin. Woohoo! It will be trendy and cool. I sh- you know, Hollywood sports and social media stars will flaunt the ease and excitement around getting your central bank digital currency. In fact, I think they'll be paid to promote it. And it will be seeded with currency teasers. Download it now and get 100 FedCoin bucks to spend anywhere it's accepted. Millennials, Gen Zs, they're going to be the initial target. And don't kid yourself, they're going to click for this app immediately. They don't care about security and privacy. I mean, shoot, they download a Chinese app called TikTok. So that is the target for stage one. All right, stage two. CBDCs will be seen as an improvement. Okay, so stage one, novelty. Stage two, improvement. It's going to be seen as an effective and a very convenient way to do business, much like Apple Pay is. The question at this stage will be, where can I use it? It's so easy. People are going to be asking, why isn't it available here in this store? All right. They're going to like the improvement and it's going to be rewarded. You know, there'll be discounts offered at retail stores, maybe you know, 5% off if you buy it with FedCoin. Of course, your change that you get back will start to be in FedCoin too. I mean, you can still, uh, you know, pay what you're buying with this stuff, the virus stained cash that you have in your wallet, maybe, but it'll have to be the exact amount, right? No change for you in, you know, coins or cash if you haven't downloaded and set up your app yet. That's how you'll get your change back. More and more retail stores are going to have this capability and they will tout it as a real improvement. So that's stage two. Stage three. CBDCs will be seen as a economic savior. It will be ready to help us through the next crisis. And and we're going to have another big crisis, okay? The U.S. government will be ready to deploy all stimulus through FedCoin. You and your business need some help. Well, forget the checks, forget the direct bank deposits that we got last time, or PPP or anything like that, right? All the MMT stimulus will now come to you via CBDCs. This is the ultimate deployment tool for government largesse. Slowly during this time, the larger denominations of cash will vanish from circulation, starting with the Benjamin. Okay, $100 bills will be gone. Then they'll work down towards these 20s and so forth. Coins and coin counters will all go the way of the proverbial phone booth. We had a, a, a taste of that during COVID, right? Do you remember? Sorry, we're all out of coins, right? And this is when, in stage three, current crypto, like Bitcoin, will be squarely in the crosshairs of the Federal Reserve and the government. Up till now, they've been tolerated, but not at this stage anymore. Private crypto is going to be seen as a pariah. It's going to be labeled un-American. So I, I do believe that the government's um, power over their people is the currency. I don't think they want to have anyone or anything wrest that control from them. Uh, so I think if Bitcoin becomes important enough as an alternative currency, I think the governments are going to go after it. It could be through taxation. There are a number of different ways governments can attack Bitcoin. Central banks will not willingly cede their power to you know some crypto or whatever no current private crypto will be regulated into oblivion and relegated into insignificance once cbdc's and the dollar reset takes hold stage four cbdc's will be seen as a requirement novelty improvement savior requirement there will be no other option in this stage. Taxes will need to be paid in FedCoin. Your wages will be 
in FedCoin. <laughs> you think the pressure for direct deposit by your employer is heavy-handed? You ain't seen nothing when FedCoin or whatever it's called comes out. Cash will not be accepted for public transactions anywhere, period. Now, if this all sounds like a conspiracy, you're missing the point. This has already begun. So what do you do? Then the really pertinent part of the question is what can we escape? And of course, the best escape is, you know, the old fashioned, you know, silver coin, right? I also think at that point, gold and silver become your new cash. New cash? Yep. Like literally trading gold and silver coins for services? Outside of the system as you would a dollar bill right now. Yeah. Gold and silver. How about that? He's talking about barter on a black or gray market. So step number one, and I've said this a lot to people, get your savings out of the public banks right now. That's it. Get your cash out. Create the bank of uh, you, okay? I have the bank Yankee. Store your savings in cash for a short to medium term prep right now, okay? Before it's abolished. Then buy silver for bartering in that gray or black market. And it's already being done in some places in the country right now. And buy gold for wealth preservation. And hang in there, guys. There's really not much we can do to stop the momentum here. I know a lot of people, especially the older set, say, I'm never going to do it. I'm going to fight it. Well, that's good. Speak out. Contact your you know, representatives. Try to vote for people who won't go down this path. But I think eventually it's inevitable. It's going to happen. We need to prepare for it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.